Dear ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our first press conference within the framework of the Women's World Chess Team Championship. And we have our first guest, Gulishan Nagbava, who is the leader of Kazakhstan team. The match of Kazakhstan against the United States of America is still uh, going. And how do you assess your result? And did you uh, follow the games uh, of your other members of the team? Please share your impressions. Yes, we're playing with the team of the United States of uh, America and um, uh, this is the team that we can fight with and we can achieve a good uh, result. We have to show our best uh, play and uh, yes, I follow the positions of other members of my uh, team and as far as I can see, uh, Dinara has got an advantage and uh, this is pleasant uh, to see and I'm wishing uh, uh, that our team would win. I'm hoping for the good result. Uh, what was your plan? And and uh, what did the uh, captain uh, said to you? What kind of task he said for you? Our uh, captain, Kotor uh, Pav Pavel, uh, always says that uh, the greatest responsibility is for those uh, who play in team uh, uh, tournaments because uh, we are defending the honor of our uh, country. And uh, it's important not to lose uh, on the first uh, board because on the first board I'm going to play with the leaders of strongest uh, team. Um, that's why the task is not to lose. Uh, today you you, you uh, performed uh, your task, uh, you, you uh, drew with the um, uh, first uh, board of the United uh, States and can you tell us about your game? We expected this uh, position uh, together with our coach Konstantin uh, Landa. Um, we had uh, Queen's um, uh, Gambit and we um, looked at different uh, variants and uh, we have uh, envisaged that we could have the end game after Queen D2, Queen D2, Knight uh, D2 and uh, we can assess it as a slight advantage for uh, white. Uh, it's a really small um, uh, advantage, but it's still more pleasant to play for white. And uh, probably instead of king e2, I should make castle here. Maybe it was better to uh, make a move uh, bishop c6 for, to make uh, black uh, less comfortable than bishop d5. This is not a simple uh, position. On the one hand, uh, the uh, black uh, had to uh, uh, fight to, to be equal, uh, but uh, on the other hand, uh, uh, it's difficult to uh, realize the advantage for white. Maybe in the very end you should avoid uh, the repetition, maybe you should use some other ways to realize your advantage. What do you think? I've been thinking about the move bishop d3. And here uh, I cannot escape the move uh, of the rook uh, to uh, c8, uh, and my bishop on g3 uh, is, is not uh, working uh, to the best, and I didn't want to make the move um, with my pawn to e4 uh, because of the future maneuver of uh, knight uh, to e6 and d4. And it's not uh, really clear how can I strengthen my position. But did you satisfied with the result today? Yes, I'm uh, satisfied. And before making a repetition, ask our captain uh, Kotor uh, Pavel if I can do the draw, and he agreed. And now I would like to ask some simple uh, questions because our audience is not uh, fully aware uh, about the, who uh, our uh, leader of Kazakhstan team uh, is, and that's why I would like to uh, ask you for some personal information. How did you start to play uh, chess, and how it all went on? Usually you become a chess player when someone in your family uh, plays chess. It was my mom in my uh, case, and uh, when uh, she uh, had two uh, girls uh, born, uh, she immediately took us to the chess uh, club. And in the very beginning, I was not really uh, engaged. I preferred to play chess on the streets with my uh, friends, uh, girls and boys. My engagement came with the first uh, result. Uh, I remember uh, it was when I uh, played uh, in the women's championship of, of Kazakhstan. I was only 14 and I shared uh, uh, the second uh, place, but by coefficient I was the third. But I had uh, the rating at that time 1,900. And uh, at that time I realized that I could actually become the member of the national team. Then it was the Asian Championship and I became the Asian uh, champion. And in the year 2008, I was noticed by uh, Evgeny Vladimirov, and who um, uh, took me uh, to play uh, for the team in the uh, Chess Olympiad in Dresden. 
So your uh, first experience in the Olympiad was in, in Dresden, and uh, on which board did you play? I played on the third board. So you promoted from the third board to the first uh, board. How did you do it? And of course I did it uh, step by step, but when you're uh, serious about chess and when you're uh, professional, it usually goes like that. You have mentioned that your mom uh, plays uh, chess, and uh, uh, can you uh, tell us about her uh, level? And uh, does she follow this championship right uh, now? Uh, does she support uh, uh, your team? Uh, yes, of course she supports our uh, team uh, greatly. Uh, uh, if, even if she is not uh, watching online uh, games, uh, she will uh, certainly watch all the games afterwards. And uh, her level is candidate masters. Uh, Sergei um, uh, Kim uh, is asking a, a question. Um, uh, Gulis Khan, today you drew with the leader of the United States team Anna Zatonsky. She is a strong uh, player and her uh, elo is 100 uh, points higher than yours. And uh, did you change a couple of words with her after the game? And wasn't she disappointed to draw with you? Anna Zatonsky uh, has been playing Queen's Gambit for a long time uh, and she was. Uh, rarely uh, loses uh, games in this uh, opening and uh, she was the first one uh, to make a, a repetition and after sh uh, the game she uh, told me okay let's see who was right and let's thank Gulis Khan for uh, participating in our uh, press uh, conference and we wish in her, uh, her and her team all the best and success.